the nation. The nation. Now, welcome. Thank you for inviting us. Pastor. Gerard, Gerard Newbold. Yes, brother Newbold, man. Yeah, Cat Island, Orange Creek. Yes, sir. That's Orange where Creek. Where my from. Yes, yes. Right. yes. Orange Creek, and he moved into, into um, Mangle Key, Andres. Oh, that's how come the Newbolds get over there. But you look like Hugh and Jim and them. We related. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> You know, the new bull blood is very strong. Strong, it is yeah, very yeah, strong. Yeah. Good to have you here, sir. Thank you for inviting I had um, Paul King on, and he did. A, he wrote a book on Cat Island. Oh, yeah? Yeah, okay. Great Cat Island, a great book, too. And we did a great show on that. Um, Portia, our producer, one of the producers here, Fernanda, who you just met, she's a Cat Island herself. She likes to brag about Yeah, I'll get a copy of that book for you. Yes, yes. And now we have my brother, Stephen Serrett. Introduce yourself, please. Yes. Blessed morning, Bahamas. Yeah, my name is Evangelist Stephen Sinclair Serrett. And it's a joy to be here on the show. And we have a lot to share in the short time that we have. So to God be all the glory. Amen, amen. Yes. Thank you. Amen. You know, I had to bring you in here. But, Stephen, I'll just say this as a little tidbit. Um, when I worked at Flagler Inn almost 100 years ago, <laughs> feels like, I was a front desk clerk. Right. Poissy Bola Francis was a clerk there at the same time, too. But your mother was at, in a charge of HR. That's right. Yeah, Bessie Surrett. That's right. Wonderful woman, wonderful woman. And, uh, of course, your father was a principal over at R.M. Bailey. That's right. A lot of the R.M. Bailey students would remember him. That's right. And I mean, students throughout. But I just wanted to bring that into focus. And like I said, I knew Brother Newbold. The, the blood is very strong. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. So tell me about the program. I know it's a, you want to start with you, Stephen, the Preacher okay, Thorn. Sure. Uh, share with us, please. Okay, well, the program is called Preacher Thorn. Yes. You know, and um, it's going to be um, next month in January, you know, and it's a vision of, of Pastor Rod. Okay. You know, and um, it's just unbelievable of what's about to take place in our country. And it's a God move. It's yes. a God's agenda, you know. So. And we so, need that right now. Amen. Amen. Uh, yeah. Because we need it right now. What is happening, um, Spence, is that um, we are in the end times now. Yes, Where so. the church age is coming to an end. Yes. So only what is done for Christ will last. Amen. You see? Amen. And um, we have to get the gospel out to win souls to the kingdom of God right now. Amen. So we have to pluck these souls out of Satan's hands. Right. Satan has souls in his hands, and we here to pluck them out one by one. Amen. You know, and that's what Preacher Thorn is all about in January. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yeah, good stuff, good stuff. I'll go back over <laughs> to Brother Nibble. Yeah. yeah, tell me how it came about, the dream, the vision. Yeah, the vision came about several years ago in Freeport. We did it initially in Freeport okay. years ago. Okay. And uh, the Lord has been laying on my heart, tugging at my heart. Yes. Uh, in the last few years to do it again. Boy, when, and, you, when, uh, when he tugs on your heart. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and, and as he tugged on my heart, uh, I actually, when I came to the service that you, was, that you spoke to yes. a few weeks back. Right. Because he was, I was saying, God, when? But when he went to that service, because of the type of message that you were preaching, yes, sir. It was it was an environment that uh, that was very conducive to what, for what we, he wants me to do. Amen. And Amen. The Apostle Utah gave me an opportunity to present the vision of Preachathon. Right. And instantly, the because of the environment, with the power of the Holy Spirit, the men drew to it. Yes. And they said, "We want to be a part of that." Good stuff, brother. And Good then, stuff. And uh, then he allowed me to to have a meeting with the men afterwards, and I shared. With the Lord laid on my heart, and they said, "Brother, and these men are from different ministries around the island." Yes, sir. And they said to me, "We want to be a part of it. What can we do?" Amen. And Amen. then it, it, it started from there, and now uh, whereas the, the the vision is coming to, to pass, where it's going to be about it's twenty four hours of nonstop preaching, praising, and praying the gospel. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Good and, stuff. And, and the way the Lord uh, laid it out to me that I am to 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 put it together mm -hmm. is that. We're looking for men. We're doing a clearing call today. Okay. And this clearing call is, 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 is going forward to people who are walking in the power of the Holy Spirit. When they hear this message and they hear the news, they would gravitate to it. Right. So we have a number that they can contact us to. Share the so number, please. Share the uh, number Brother for Surratt, us. He has the number he'll, he'll share. But in the meantime, when he, when he gets that number, uh, the, 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 the event, the evangelistic event, is for 24 hours nonstop open air. This is not going to be in a building. Right. It's going to be set up outdoors, where we're going to have about twenty. The the we're going to have about twenty ministries preaching the gospel for twenty four hours straight. Yes, where every, twenty four uh, hours twenty four hours straight, nonstop. It, it, it's about it's about dealing with principalities of powers over our nation, over our region. Okay, and we are, you said earlier we're having some issues in our country. Yes, we're having some to issues. To understand 
the spiritual realm, you have to see whatever happens in the spirit is going to be evident in the physical. Yes. So we need to go into the environment and tear down and bind. So we are, we're doing a clearing call to, to, to type of individuals that be a part that, of it. Be a part of it. Mm -hmm. And these individuals, we're looking for, for, for worshipers. Yes, sir. Uh, the word of God in the book of John says that God's looking for true worshipers who worship in the spirit. So we're looking for people who wants to worship. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're looking for, for, for people who wants to pray. We're looking for prayer intercessors. Yes. Prayer for, warriors. Prayer warriors. Amen. Yes, sir. To, to not to start to pray next month, right. but to start praying now. Yes, yes. Okay, we're looking for, for the preachers. The new you're preaching in here this morning. Amen. Yes, we're, sir. We're Orange for, Creek. Orange Creek. Hey, you know, we got preachers in our <laughs> yeah, family, right? Preachers, Amen. Yeah. So we're looking for preachers mm -hmm. who have who want to preach the good news. Yes, sir. We're, we're not speaking about prophecy. Yeah. We're talking about preaching the good news yes. of Jesus Christ. Amen. We preach, we're talking about preachers who want to preach salvation. Yes. Okay, we're looking for ministries that 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 wants to become a part of it. Okay. Okay. Good and stuff. they're going to be given uh, uh, sections of the program Church. that they're going to be uh, presenting the gospel. 24 hours. 24 hours. And then after that, we, we're going to have... Uh, Where's venue. it being held? Where's we, the main venue? Well, we have two locations we haven't decided upon as okay, yet. Okay, all right. So we are, we are, but you have a number they could reach out when yes, they, we have a number that after they they've make, seen you this yes, morning, they would want to be a part of this. They would be a part of it. Yes. Uh, we, 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 so the clearing call today is to so these ministries. I, I'm mm -hmm. talking about not just one denomination. I'm talking about to the body of Christ. Yeah, the body of we're Christ. We're talking right. about the people, the, the, the New Testament talks about the people of the way. Yes. We're talking about, we're talking about people of the way. Yes, sir. Who are part of this way that wants to bring in the the, the final days of, 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 of the kingdom of God yes. on the earth? Man, you on fire. Okay, mm -hmm. yes, sir. so yes, that's sir. who we that's who God is looking for. for. He's looking for men, women, boys, and girls. We're looking for people to come in the, the facility that we are we're at who's gonna be praying. Right. Okay, you don't need to be on the stage to preach. Yes. We need you to come. Yes. Your prayer warrior, come. Come up, yeah. Your, your, your worshiper, come. come. Yes. Your preacher, come. Yes. Okay, you're a part of any ministry, come. come. Yeah, you're not excluded. We're not excluded. We're, yeah, you're bringing people in. It's about big the, tent. It's the a big body tent. of Christ. Yeah, it's a big tent. We are all one family. So yes, let's sir. Let's start to live and act as one family. Good Because stuff. this message is to, to deal with principalities and powers. Yes. So strongholds. Strongholds. So we don't want to just say, well, we're going to start next week. We've started from last month. Amen. Preparing the grounds. You're on fire here today. Okay, preparing mm -hmm. the grounds. Yes, sir. Yes, okay, sir. Okay, in the spiritual realm. Yes. That, that lives will be changed. Right. Men, women, boys, and girls will come to Jesus. Yes. That, that, that this violence in our country right. will be subsided yes. by the power of Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. We want to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. We Amen. want to preach the good news. The good news. To yes. let people know that there's hope. Yes. There's a lot of stress in our country. There's a lot of stress. People need to yes. know that there's hope in Jesus. There's answers in Jesus. Yes, there's sir. comfort in Jesus. And that's what this message is about. Yeah, the you, church coming together you and bringing the, glory to his name. You're hitting the nail on the head, on the my head. brother. <laughs> we Amen. are facing, uh, brother yes. Newbold, we're facing so many challenges yes. in this country. The government uh, need help? Yes. We want to help them. Exactly. We want to help our nation. Yes. Yes. Many challenges. Unemployment. Uh, uh, drug addiction, alcoholism, crime, the whole gamut of yes. these things we have going on with us now. Uh, so, you know, we have to deal with it. Brother Stephen, uh, share something for us, please. Yes, um, the number you can call is 242, that's the area code, 804-5227. Again, that's area code 242-804-5227. And it's called Preacher Thorn. P R E A C H dash A dash T O N. Preacher Thorn. Preacher Thorn. So, so we just trust in God and, and we want to uh, make an appeal for those who want to be a part of this ministry as well. You know, and um, I just love the passion of, of Pastor Rod, oh, man. Rod it it, is it on excites fire in me. Him, man. And mm -hmm. I, I just give God the glory. It's about winning souls, and that's what I'm about as an evangelist, just to win souls to the kingdom, no matter who, who we make contact with. Right. I, I saw the, your security here, for example, yes, when sir. I came in. Yes. Very nice gentleman, yeah, yes. Tracy or something like Tracy that. Tracy Roll, Tracy Roll. Right, Rowe, right. And I asked Tracy, Tracy, you gave your life to Jesus. He said he did before, you know. But um, when when I hear that, but I said, boy, we got to do this now. Yes, sir. So so we we went right straight into the sinner's prayer and, and and just evangelizing right there and there, you know. So as we go into the marketplace, whoever we see, mm -hmm. wherever it is, in the food store, in the in the banks. 
you know, um, wherever we go, we are that light of Christ. So we have to give a shout out to Apostle Utah Taylor Roll. Oh, oh yes. Who is one of our uh, yes. great employees right here at the Broadcasting Corporation. Yes. Uh, Utah Taylor Roll. Um, yes, we have to do that. Oh, yes. Now, what kind of persons, um, um, what, what, what do you expect to happen after this, uh, Pastor Roy? Well, during the, during the event itself, what are they call an evangelistic event. Yes. It's that during that time, it's, it's about prayer. Right. It's about worship. You know, it's it's it, it, in the environment that people can come to know that there is a savior. Yes. Okay. The good news. The good news. We, yes. the, the whole event is about preaching the good news, and the the, the process of the event we will start at six a.m. in the morning on okay. Saturday morning. Yes. And we will we would like to finish at six a.m. Sunday morning, but twenty four hours. Twenty four hours. But I know that it's going to go a little longer. But yes. That's the the intent. Okay. Okay. The mm -hmm. the intent is is to have this open air proclamation of the gospel. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. as you understand, the, the 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 earth is God's yes. stage in the fullness in the fullness of His glory. So, so we are not we're not gonna come uh, uh, bind us in a building. We want to proclaim the gospel to the elements. Amen, amen, amen. And my bring brother. change. Amen. So the the whole system is is that when they when the the ministers come in and preach, they mm -hmm. will have they'll have an hour, an hour and fifteen minutes of worship and and bringing forth the gospel, and then you will have the next ministry on and then okay. the next ministry. Mm -hmm. And when they finish that, they will go into prayer. And worship, they won't just come and just leave. Okay, all right. Okay. You see, we'll yeah. be looking for them for like at least a three-hour commitment to, to uh, continuous, when they come. right, a continuous yes. rotation mm -hmm. for twenty-four hours. Throw the number and out again for me, please. Um, okay, the, the number, number again. Yeah, for them sure. to reach you. Okay, persons would, are listening right now who yes. want to take part in this. Yes, this event, it would be eight zero four five two two seven. That's 804-5227. If you want my personal cell, it's 432-5599. But I'd just like to share quickly that we want to have a container of food as well to okay. give out. Yes. You can't come here and, 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 and hungry and, and want something to eat, right. and, and we, don't, we cannot provide it. So we want to give you some, some hot food as well. Some you know? sustenance. That's some right. Sustenance. That's right. Jesus didn't just preach, right. you know, but he fed them. He yes. fed 5,000 and 4,000. Exactly. So we had to do even more than that, yes, you know, as, as the Holy Spirit lead. So, so we, we appeal to those who want to be a part of it to, to call these numbers and, and to let us know, you know. And, and, and uh, it's amazing you mentioned Utah Taylor Road because yes. he's having a watch night service on the 31st where he's doing healing and deliverance and feeding as well, yes, you know. So yes. I wanted to plug that in. And Utah we are, Taylor Road. That's right. And we are all part of Pastors of Prayer right. with Bishop Ian Keith Brathwaite, who is the president there. Yes, so this, 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 you, you know him. Yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> right, and, and, right. And his wife, the prophetess. Right. That's right. Yeah, that's Carly right. Brathwaite. That's right. That's yes, right. So yeah. see, we just give God thanks. And i just like to say hello quickly to my lovely wife, Portia, you know, who gives me all the support, you know, to, to, to get God's work done and spread in the gospel of Jesus. Jesus Christ. She's from that legendary family. Yeah? That's right. And, and you should be expecting a call from Houston, Texas of a Larry Means, you okay. know, who, who, would, who, would, who would even compliment. He may be a part of this event as well, you okay, know. So, so okay. it's, just, it's just the gospel of Jesus Christ to our nation, you know. And yes. God is just awesome, and, I, and we love him so much. Preacher Thorn. Thank you, uh, Preacher Thorn. Preacher yes. Thorn. Sorry. Yes. Sorry. Preacher Thorn. Um, tell us a little bit more about it with the time we have left. You gentlemen are on fire here today. Well, initially, when we did it in Freeport several years ago, right. we did it during the time of Junkanoo. Okay. Uh, I know the, the Bahamas is a, a place that uh, they, they celebrate Junkanoo. Right. But I'm in the part of the body of Christ that deals with deliverance of spirits. Okay, yes. And uh, during that time, a lot of time we realized that during the time of the year, there's a lot of stuff that's going on in our country. Yes, sir. Righteousness. Right. A lot of drunkenness. Yes. A lot of uh, uh, young people getting in a, in a lot of trouble. Right. So during that time, we, we wanted to do a calm over Freeport at the time. Okay. We, as we go and pray, and we go and proclaim that gospel, and we want to do the same thing in Nassau. But this event is just not going to be in Nassau. The whole plan is to take this to the islands of the Bahamas. Awesome, my brother. And have the ministries who are there awesome. to do the same thing with yes. us. Good stuff. And then... Because I, as the Holy Spirit leads to me, is that the Bahamas is an incubation for preachers. Yes. This country, uh, 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 the late Miles, Dr. Miles Monroe said that this is the place that God resides. That's right. I believe that it's a place that is one of the only places in the world that we continue to lift up the Lord in our meetings, mm -hmm. 
in our greetings, in our functions. Because this will be this is maybe one of the last frontiers whereas we hold God up in the esteem that we do. That's right. Most countries in the world don't do that anymore. But we as a nation, that's why we are so blessed. Yes. Because we we still put God first. Mm -hmm. Yes. Although we may not we may not do what God has called us to do, but, you put but we him still first. put him first yes. in all our functions. There's a prayer. Okay? Yes. So I believe that, that this nation is an in incubation for preachers. And I and I see the Bahamas going forth as preaching men, women preaching the gospel around the world. Amen. 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 From New York to, to Hong Kong. Amen. Amen. We, we're gonna be like how the US and how Europe was years ago mm -hmm. when they came preaching the gospel. Yeah, but they, the they came truth, as evangelists. Yes, and we're gonna go forth out of the Bahamas, preaching the gospel to the world. Uh, I think it's, it's, it's Prophet um, uh, Seymour, Micklin Seymour, who talks about the spirit of God in the islands, in the isles. Right. And what God is going to do, I believe, in these hours is that he's going to send forth Bahamian preachers yes, around the world proclaiming the gospel. That's what this, this is an evangelist, evangelistic move to start a revival, not only in our nation, but revival in the globally, region globally, and reviving globally. globally. Yes, sir. Yes, Thank sir. you. We have, did, two did, minute, we have two minutes left. I'm going to give each one of you a minute. Okay. Uh, time has just gone, but you got right. your word out today. That's Amen. right. And this is, uh, I didn't mention it, this is our final day until January. Okay. So it's good well, Praise here. God. Yes. Yeah, go ahead, Stephen. You, you remember the Azusa Street back in 1906? Yes. That started in Houston, Texas. Yes, sir. And then went on to California. Right. So we're asking for those persons who are sick and, and, and those who are in having ailments or whatever it is, who need deliverance, just come on out. Right. Come and on many out. many people need deliverance. Amen, 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 amen. Many amen, people need deliverance. Amen, amen. How do you tell your children that you don't have food to feed them? Mm -hmm. Because of this pandemic, you haven't yes. worked. Yes. It's almost two years. You haven't earned a salary. But, what do you tell the children? But in closing, Spence, I just want to say that we will see signs, wonders, and miracles because that's what follow the believers. You will see the raising of the dead. You will see the demons being cast out. You will see all manner of sicknesses and diseases being healed because Jesus says so. It's a greater glory in these end times now. A greater glory. Greater works we shall see. Stephen Surrett. Thank Amen. you, my brother. You're welcome. Um, you have the last word, Pastor. Definitely. Just want to do a shout out to my wife, Aretha Newboy. She's of course. Definitely, you may not see her, but she's so much a part of me. And that's important to have that Amen. support, eh? Yeah, that that's support. important. And, and I know and Stephen has got it. Yes. Yeah, yeah it's important my, to have that. My wife, she's very much a part of what I do. That's a good thing. Okay. She yes. Is, she is the one that you don't see. Right. But she's the wind. But you're out okay. front. But yeah, yeah. she's the wind beneath she's your wings. Wind. <laughs> exactly. And thank you so much for being here today. Much, yes. I wish you all the best with thank it. You. Stephen, just try out the number again before you go, please. Yes. For persons who want to become a part of it. I know they would like to. Okay. The number here is, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Just one quick second. Oh, my, my. Okay, Rod, you have. Okay. Well, to God be the glory. Yes. Thank God for this opportunity. Okay, here it is. Okay, 804-5227. That's area code 242, 804-5227. Yes. Preachathon. Thank you. Yes. Preacher Thorn coming up. Coming up. Two yeah. weeks? At the end of January. And, oh, end of, end of the, okay. Yes. That, that's more than two weeks. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. a little bit more. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. I appreciate much. both appreciate of you coming in here today. We love you, Spence. Thank God you. bless you, you and God your family you. as well. Thank you. God yes. bless you. Thank yes. you. Okay. We're going to a quick break, but we'll.